Vegas says this is definitely the last game. All right, well, Dad, you've seen most of these games? I've seen the first three. Okay, what's your takeaway? You're too wild with your swinging, and you make stupid decisions on the base paths. Like what? Well, you. one thing you do a lot, I've noticed, like if, if you're pitching and you Mike has a down base and there's a ground ball, you always go for the lead runner, even though there's no chance of getting them. So you allow an extra runner on instead of going for that sure out at first base. But you don't about- make a lot of... You don't make a lot of sound baseball decisions, and that makes sense because you don't know baseball that well. I go with intuition. My baseball intuition. I used to play baseball, Dad. You, you went to my games. <laughs> yeah. That's that's part of the problem here. You don't have a, a, a solid base of baseball knowledge, strategy wise. I've been to a lot of games. I, I know the basics. You were jerking off under a blanket. You weren't paying attention to strategy. <laughs> The worst part is he's not lying. He's not lying. I, I, I did want nachos pretty bad. Oh, that's oh, and those they come around with those things that cost <laughs> like five cents to make and they charge twenty bucks for them, like the glow in the dark bracelets and the twirly <laughs> things. You were obsessed with that stuff and nachos. You didn't give a shit about the game. <laughs> that's where the nachos were. That was the nachos house. Nachos house. <laughs> house of nachos. Yeah, yeah, it's a big house for a nachos place, but I'll take it. Um, no, I, it's, it's fine. It's you want to add your part. nachos and whack it, too? <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, Dad, if you were to impart... I want you to be an impartial commentator here, Father. Uh, so you're just going to okay. be calling the game down the middle. But if you were to impart some fatherly baseball knowledge unto your son before what may be his last game, if he doesn't step up to the plate, uh, what would it be? Be more selective in what you swing at and make better decisions in the field. Okay. All right. Mike. Are you ready for this? I am. Yeah. Uh, do we? Did you read the? We got one, at least one donation today already. Yeah. Anonymous right. for fifty dollars. Thank you. And then, just to make sure we got through, um, gymnasium. He after the last game had two donations, both very generous. Thank you, Jim. Silas A. Sherman had one as well yesterday. I believe again these were early yesterday morning. But anyway, uh, an anonymous four minutes ago with fifty dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I would like to be at five thousand before we get to like the seventh inning stretch. Maybe before that, because usually by the seventh inning stretch, we kind of, it might potentially on either end be a blowout. Yeah. So maybe by like the fifth inning, if we could have 5,000, that'd be awesome. That would be great. Uh, is anybody getting a little crackliness on uh, on uh, Mike's uh, mic there? What, what, Dad, are you showing off a shirt? Yeah, I was seeing if there's any Iowa people out there. Oh, okay. All right, we are getting some crackling on uh, Mike's mic. Um, it's not that bad. Uh, just you got all your connections all good there? Yep. Okay, well, it's it's working for now. It should be good. Let's go to the gameplay, and now we've got it. All right, I think we're going to stick with 45 Ego. That's what we were on last time. Uh, so we're going to stick with that. Dad, have you noticed a big difference uh, with the Ego setting stuff? Yeah, it, there is a difference. Like, what do you mainly notice? Um, it's harder to hit the higher the Ego you go. That's the main thing I've noticed. Maybe that's my problem. Pitches are more... There's also less aim assist on the batting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Mike, you should be good to start it. Excellent. I've noticed the, the nachos are a little warmer the higher your ego goes. Oh, really? Let's crank that baby up. <laughs> Get me excited under a blanket. Oh, uh, the old day, uh, night, night game? Or no, day game. Uh, yeah, let's go day. Let's, what, uh, misty or fair? Uh, let's, uh, let's make it fair. No designated hitter. All right. All right. Dad, do you have a nap today? No. Nah, this is normally when I would be asleep, too. Well, well, thank you so much for, for joining us. I'm toughing it out for you and for charity. You're, you're a tough man. I've always said that. Thank you. Yep. Look at that tough guy. <laughs> you right. know, there was a gun show in Kansas City this weekend, did you? Sure is. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I've been to a gun show in Missouri before, like 10 years ago. Really? Mm-hmm. What were we doing in Missouri? I went to University of Arkansas for two years, and my girlfriend at the time lived in Joplin, so I was okay. in Joplin. I didn't know you went to Arkansas. Yep. Parts, so are, parts of Arkansas are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, Northwest Arkansas is good looking. Just two years was enough for me personally. No offense to any Arkans in, t- in the chat. The dad, you are seeing the game. The left fielder. I am. It's kind of choppy, but it's nice. going to be a little choppy for you. But as long as you can see it. All right, I'm pitching. All right, who's you're pitching? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I am the Highlander who Mike understands and appreciates now. Yep. Yep. I've heard a lot of Highlander references I didn't understand the last few days. Have you seen Highlander? I have not. You would hate it. Really? <laughs> yeah. I talk a lot about how mad you got by Pulp Fiction being out of chronological order. God. You hated that. And Highlander takes place partly in, like, the 1400s and partly in 1986 New York City. Oh, good. Oh, there he is. I know him now. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to turn down my uh, my crowd volume here. Uh, Dad, what is your, your hatred of, like, things being out of order? I don't think I necessarily have a hate for things out of order. You hate Pulp Fiction. Yeah, but that had nothing to do with it being out of order. You said it didn't make... It had something to do with Quentin Tarantino being weird, right? Yeah, I have a I have a problem with most of his work. Yeah. Although there's a couple I enjoyed, but most of them I just can't stand. You know, so many people talked about Pulp Fiction, and so I finally did watch it, and I just couldn't stand it. Yeah. Dan Riker with the first hit, or run, yeah. sorry, hit. Yeah, Dan, Dan, I'm going to take this time to explain to you how a perfect game works, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a favorite bit of his. Yes. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going to do a ball here. I'm, I'm fixing something. I can I can hold it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. I only have 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, 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 should be good now. Okay, here we go. Thank you. I remember, I can always substitute, too. Oh, I think we're good now. Dan, right. can you explain the difference between a perfect game and a no-hitter? A perfect game is subjective, and it is whatever you want your game to be. And so uh, I've done many perfect games in my day. Uh, most of my games in the series have been perfect. Wow. You said a lot of words without saying the damn thing right there. So as I understand it, a perfect game is literally no one touches first base. A no-hitter, they can technically be walked. Correct. Or an error. An error, Or yeah. get hit. Yeah, you can you uh, you can walk eight people and still have a no hitter as long as yeah. you don't give up any hits. Right. But what if my perfect game is just playing to the best of my ability and uh, being proud of myself? That's called playing to the best of your ability and being proud of yourself. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the perfect game. It's my idea of perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what happened here? Uh, Dan got shut down. No, Mike did. Mike is the dams. Yeah, I, I know. I've learned that over the last week. <laughs> but how do I tell... Oh, okay, so Dan's pitching. No. <laughs> I'm the, the the white and blue. Mike is red. Oh. Just remember that. Okay. Look at that crap. Oh. Damn it. Be a good announcer, Dan. That'd be your kit. Your <laughs> look at that crap. <laughs> Holy fuck, look at that shit. Did you get, see that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Is Barfy Man 3000 watching? I always have to know that. <laughs> He's everywhere. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. All right, Dan, focus. Don't! <laughs> you should let that one go, I think. That I already fun. had three balls! Now batting. Well, that would have been number four then. You yeah, so you don't want to swing. Well, I mean, swinging, yeah. Yeah, yeah with three no, three no, you got to make the pitcher work. I don't know what that means. It means I literally, like, I'm forced to throw a strike, kind of. Yeah. Unless I'm very bold. Okay. Well, the one thing is you're really close to a walk, and secondly, you're much more likely to get a hittable pitch when you have an advantageous count. Oh, okay. Is this an advantageous count? I, I can't tell what the cannons. Everything's so damn small. <laughs> damn it! Uh, Dad, you I haven't tried the White Claw yet, have you? The what? The White Claw. You haven't tried it, have you? I have not. Mm. I haven't had any can drink for like four months. Oh, that's right. Well, we haven't been around each other. <laughs> Alcohol's not necessary when you two don't hang out. <laughs> he has yeah, to drink whenever town. After setting this up, I felt like I spent all summer with you. <laughs> Whoa! Connor McLeod. That's what right. A fucking reflex. Now, guys, I can't see how many outs there are or the score or anything. Does that matter? I mean, if you want to maximize the game window, if, if you know how to do that, and you won't be able to see us if you're okay with that. Oh, I guess it's not that important. If, if, you need, if you're curious, we can tell you. It's okay. It's bottom of the first, right? Top of the second. Top of the second. Yeah. 
and Mike is up, right? He is the dancer. Yes. The center yes. 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 Mike is up. Yeah, Mike. That's really confusing him and all your players <laughs> named Dan right here. That's not helping. I know. Psychological warfare. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. That was close. Hey, Dad. In real baseball, who is the current mayor of Ding Dong Town? Probably Pete Alonzo or Trout. Is a guy named Trout? Does he have a first only name? The, only the best player in the last two generations, yeah. Mike it, Trout. Oh, I thought it was like Madonna and he just had one name. No. Damn it. Now, what could I have done there, Dad? I am I can't even tell what's going on, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. God damn it, Mike. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had two strikes. Whoops. <laughs> Dad, why don't you maximize the game window? Well, that's, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin everything. I am too. Um... <laughs> if the gameplay window is on the right, just click the square in the top right. The square. Not the minus. There's a square and an X. Don't hit the minus or the X. There should be a square in between them. Maximize? Yes. Okay, that's way better. Okay, great. So you can see now? Are you good, Yeah, but Great. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. So this is a good situation, Dad? Well, I just need to reassess here. Top to second. Dan is up. No score. All right. Yes. Okay. So you can I see need, now. I need to get my bearings. All right. Wow, that was a nasty curveball. Yeah, it Thank was. You. Dad, who's your favorite baseball man? Well, first of all, you have to say it right for me to respond. I don't understand the question, and I refuse to respond. <laughs> who is your Who is your favorite baseball player? Currently? Sure. Or, or of all time? Let's say currently. Favorite. That's a weird way to put it. Um, Most fun to watch. To, I prefer to work in terms of who do I think is the best. No, favorite. I like, I like Mike Trout a lot. The Trout Man? Is, do people call him that? No. <laughs> no one calls him that. Troutman, can we? I like Pete Alonzo a lot, too. Um... Adalberto, Ad, Adalberto Mondesi, I love watching that kid play. He's, he's, he can do it all. Who's your favorite Ballsman? <laughs> Ballsman? John Holmes. Is that did, a you guys ever, thing? did you guys ever take the time to read the advertisements on the walls in this game? Oh, yeah. yeah. Weird. Glutes check some, some of them are pretty funny. Frank's Beans and Clams. <laughs> I like the one. I saw one in the old game. It said, just buy stuff. <laughs> I like that. All right, all right, all right. What do you think Glutes is selling? Is that a restaurant? Glutes. A gym? What do you think that is? Uh, I can see that, yeah. A workout program. Look at that. <coughs> uh, look at look at that out. <laughs> what did I do wrong? You hit it to the fielder. Uh, How do you avoid that? You hit it better. What, what does that mean? You, well, a lot of it has to do with the pitches you, that you choose to swing at. I think hmm. you could have let that one go. I, I mean, it was, a, eh, it was it might have been a ball. You need to let a lot more pitches go. That's your problem. But what if they look good? Well, that's that's subjective. You think they look good, but there might be balls. They're all balls. Oh, this is my pitcher, I just realized. Oh. The reticle's tiny. Mike's, Mike's a crafty pitcher. They shouldn't have called it balls because every pitch is a ball. Every baseball play involves a ball, so it's confusing. That's deep, Dan. <laughs> well, it's like if they called the baseball the strike, it would be confusing, right? And be like, oh, is it a strike or a ball? It's like, well, it's always a strike. Well, then everybody would be confused with bowling. It would get super confusing. Stay, 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 stay. That's a weird thought, Dan. I don't know why that's an issue. Um, <laughs> oh, that's trouble. That's oh, that was, dear. That's fair. This is so choppy, it's hard. Dan, I was, I shit my pants. I thought you were gonna catch that. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. That was, that was Larry, or is Dave your left? Yeah, Larry's your left fielder, right? Uh, Larry Dave. Sounds Larry right. Dave yeah. Ah. Mm. Yeah. I thought I, I thought I got a pattern going on you, but that time was, I did not. <laughs> Mike Brimby should have gone through home on that one, maybe. <clears throat> Prob. Yeah. It was pretty deep. Dan, did I ever tell you about the time the Royals were on the road and somebody stole their uniforms, so they had to wear the uniforms of the team they were playing? No. When did that happen? 
the seventies, I think. Maybe the eighties. I think it was seventies though. That's crazy. Was it was it the the same jer like they all wore home jerseys or did they have to wear the away or something? Uh, yeah, it was a different color of the same team. But yeah, they all had uh, I think it was Milwaukee Brewers. They were all wearing Brewers uniforms. What a weird thing. Yeah. Mike's, Dad, Mike's got Mike's got a nasty curveball. Dad, what's the, what's the most proud of uh, me you've been for doing a baseball thing? I don't think that exists. <laughs> you went to my games. We played catch. <laughs> I remember I you were playing with the softball, and it bounced off the top of my glove once and hit me in the teeth, and I bled. That sounds more... <laughs> More, more uh, atypical or typical of. All right, just to base. shut Chad up again. I know I should have sack flied. I get it. <laughs> so, so, so just chill. <laughs> God. There were times in the back air we used to have. We used to have a big plastic bat and the plastic, like softball sized balls. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. And every once in a while you'd connect really well on those. All right. So you'd call me a natural athlete? No. <laughs> How about basketball? I played basketball too. Oh, God. There's video evidence of you sucking at basketball and getting beat by your eight-year-old sister. <laughs> That's very true. I wrestled, Although I, but then... I will, get, I will give you credit for that one thing in college where you bet that guy that you couldn't score one point before he got ten or whatever. Yeah, it was really good. You, Wait, what? It, you, who? Oh, I'll send you a video. My, it's, it's on YouTube, I think, Mike. I'll show it Mike, to you. It's, Mike, it's fantastic. Wait, who, who did you bet that against? My friend Dom. Is he a ba basketball player? Yeah, he loves playing basketball, yeah. Oh, okay. I think he it, it, might have played... It a tear to your eye. I think he might have played collegiately. He looked like an athlete you didn't. And uh, the shot you threw up was the ugliest basketball shot I've ever seen. And how it went in, I have no idea. But it was classic Dan. <laughs> it's really good. Damn it. <laughs> didn't you win 50 bucks or something on that? Uh, no, I got him to pay me back for the Wii remote that he broke because we were playing Wii bowling after the bars one night and he threw it and he broke my Wii remote and, but he never had money. And so I was like, all right, if I win, you have to actually pay me back for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> no all right. Correctly. Smarter base running. Number 23. All right. All right. Dad, how am I doing? Well, you're holding your own. It's, it's a uh, zero, zero in the fourth. That's good. That bodes well for you. Okay, great. Uh, Mike, I'm, this is Founders Field, right? Yep. Okay, great. I uh, made sure of it. Excellent. Now batting, is this choppy on your end, the video two. play? Not as much. I'm sending the video to you, so it's a little choppy. Uh, it's the only way we can do it, so there's no delay. That's fine. It is super choppy, though. Yeah, I know it is. Sorry about that. I'm just glad we got it working. That first pitch was a really good fastball. <clears throat> Thank you. Right, they nibble the corners, nibble the corners. What the hell does that mean? It means don't throw it right down the middle. Work I, the sides I never of the do. Plate. I never do. Check the tape. All right. I... All right. <laughs> Save us. Mix up your pitch. Little, little, uh, alternate. Little alternate curveballs. I do. Balls. I'm constantly doing different stuff. All right. I'm a baseball man. Stop saying that. Famous ballsman. Oh, this is the one non-Dan Riker. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's his name, Mitch? Oh, Connor? Count Wallace. What? Oh, Count Wallace, okay. Dan thought it was C. Alice the first time he saw it. <laughs> it was like C. C. Wallace. All right, all right, all right. Mother! Why does that happen? Tough, 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 tough play to make. Mm. Now batting, on on up that on that shortstop's <laughs> list of achievements, I think he's proven himself. Yeah, he, got, he, he had that like twenty-five foot leap to catch my line drive that one time. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. All right, two outs. We got a pitcher's duel here. That's what they say. Dan, have you ever told anybody about the time you met George Brett and uh, I told you to tell him? Uh, 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 do you remember this at all? That you were at some card show or something? Vaguely? What happened? 3-2 well, pitch. It was, right, it was like 87. Drop! 
Oh, 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 boy. All right, it was like right when it was right when Bo Jackson had had uh, started playing baseball, and he was like all the rage in Kansas City. And we were at some card show, and uh, George Brett was there, and you were talking to him, and I had told you if, if he asked, "Do you know who I am?" or something like that, or say. Are you Bo Jackson or something like that? And you said that, and everybody laughed. Oh, really? Did George Brett laugh? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, had, he, had, he, had he known the future, he probably would have suffocated you. I'm sure he laughed and laughed again. <laughs> he <Yeah>. loves me. <laughs> oh God. I should get George to guest on one of these. Oh, I'm getting God. so many people on base. Can't finish it. You need to get George and Jose at the same time. <laughs> For a guy that doesn't know shit about baseball, I've got two concurrent feuds with uh, <laughs> baseball legends. <laughs> feuds. <laughs> I think they're mostly... They, they, they think about you every night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not active feuds at one point. It, yes. It's only a feud if the other person knows about it. <laughs> Conseco definitely knows about it. Yeah. He's an odd duck. You don't say. Good God. Some of the stuff he tweets is just crazy. Yeah. Damn it! Remember when Jose Canseco thought I was dead? Little buddy? Didn't he call you a little buddy or something? He always says that, or strange little man. Hey, where did he come, where did he get the idea that you were dead? No idea. Zero idea. That's strange. Yes, there we go. That might be foul. Oh, it's oh. fair! Oh no. No! You guys still there? Yeah! No, oh, damn it! Oh. Damn it, I hated that! I hated that! That was that. such a good hit! Did you I, I, no, I, I don't blame you for going a second. That was a good hit. I don't. That, that sucked. was just a good. It was just a good toss from right field. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Finally get a hit. Got greedy. The worst. I've been. It's. The worst feeling of getting a pickle like it's that. It's terrible. Dan didn't know the term pickle, Paul. No. He didn't? Uh -uh. No. Ooh, I'm going to go to second. All right, Dan. Oh, Paul, oh, like yeah. Did you see my famous uh, stole two ba two bases to go home? Or no, not stole. Yes, I did. Or it was steal, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you were starting two people first. Stole. Yeah. yeah, I did. Ding dong! Right Ding dong a Rooney! Two outs though. <clears throat> Alright, there's your big guy. Ooh, Dave. Big Dave! Big Dave! Number nine. Pick a pitch. I'm gonna pick good, the best good pitch. Eye. Good eye. Make him throw it to you. Hey, throw it to me, Mike! <laughs> Just did. <laughs> Uh-uh. Good eye. Ah, you're getting better, see? No swinging on that nonsense. Ha! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. Shit. Oh. <laughs> that was nasty. Uh, you can't get ahead if you don't swing. <laughs> I thought wrong not to swing. Uh. What is this? Power versus left-handed? I don't know. Yes. Somebody's got to score at some point. <clears throat> Way think. too early. Let's change ups. Yeah. What's weather like there, guys? It is about nice. 70 right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm jealous. It's 90 here. Jesus. I guess I should actually get out of the house on occasion. We got check so donations it... after this, I think. Yes. We haven't much. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going the oh. way he. <clears throat> now batting the shortstop. Larry David is surprisingly athletic out there. <laughs> he seems to be a guy who stays in shape, right? Not like For his age. Yeah. He's not like ripped, but he's not. Uh, Larry bad. David. He's like hunched over. <laughs> <laughs> he's an old man. He's fairly active, though. That's he's what like I'm saying. 70, isn't he like 75? Yeah, yeah. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh! Stay. 
Jeez. How many fucking hits do I have and I haven't scored? Is that like 10 hits? You go, I think it's 8. 8 or 9, maybe? <clears throat> Boy. Mine's making this tough on you. Making you throw strikes. Yeah. Ooh, oh, man. yeah. That came fast. Oh, I'll still get donations. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, can you just do a substitute? Uh, I'm gonna leave it on this screen for now, and then I'll substitute oh, when it goes past that. A bunch. Oh. Alright. There are quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Edwin Davies, very, very generous donation. Thank you so much. Jeremy Quinlan, Kinlan, thank you so much. Matt Andal, I've seen your name here before. Awesome. Daniel Florentine, another anonymous for $50. Dylan McHugh, Siku, oh, Siku. Good to see you. And Robert Fergus. We are at 4575. Excellent. Let's, let's get there. All right, 125 I'm good. away. I'm good. All right. Hey, Dad. Here's where the, yes, the, mayor, the mayor is in session this inning. I'm calling it. Okay. It's a tight game. Mm. Look at that. What'd you eye. call it the other day? What'd you call it the other day? Over innings the other day or something? What'd you call it? It's, I, I don't, we called it something stupid. It was completely wrong, whatever it was. I don't think oh, I called it. Oh, I, call, I called it over innings, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does that help? Yes! Power meter. <laughs> there we go! That's in the gap. Should I go? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna take go. two, take two, take two. But stay oh, there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah! 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 Don't like that. Man, how was that? That was a, that one. I don't know how that was a strike. Get through there. Tick third, Dan. Tick third. All right. Ooh. See, in that situation, I would have gone to third. Is that the stupid thing? As as a, as a as I, the I as the field. He looked like he was already there, but okay. Because it takes a guy longer to get the first. He just had a oh, long yeah. lead, and it didn't look like I would get him out, but I could have been wrong. Yeah, that was the smart thing to do was for the runner to go to third. But okay. as a fielder, no, you should take the sure out at first base. Okay. On the board. Yes. Yes. By the way, Dad, you're uh, you can't see this, but you're I assume you're drinking Mountain Dew. Yes, sir. Okay, I've got green screen applied to our camera, and so whenever you lift it up, it's just transparent, so just seeing straight through you. Yeah, it's it's real weird. <laughs> it's spooky. It's Diet Mountain Dew. Ooh, good choice. Yeah, I drink a lot of that shit. Me too. Yeah, I'm a classy guy. Yeah. I keep forgetting that you people can see me because I, I can't. Keep your pants on. <clears throat> yeah, was... Johnny May May. <laughs> All right, so it's one to nothing. Yeah. Dad, what's the cards for you today? Uh, eBay. Ah. eBay Sunday. eBay Sunday. All right, I'll take it. If you guys ever do this again, Mike, could you please not name your team Dan Riker? <laughs> and make that logo kind of look like him? Yeah, it's super confusing to me. <laughs> Just remember Mike is red. Now batting, no, Dan, I'm blue. <clears throat> Damn it. <laughs> not helping. All right. What's my, what's my thing? Right-hand pitcher, speed boost. I mean, he's a left-hand pitcher. does not matter. All right, keep the pressure on him, Dan. You got him. That's what I'm doing. Getting late in the game. There's Mike strike no, dress. There's no way I can lose. <laughs> Perfect game. The center fielder, number thirteen. Are your dogs watching, Dan? No, they're just laying on soft things. They're working on their SATs. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are pretty stupid. I don't think there's one brain cell between those two dogs. <laughs> Ooh. So let's say uh, you connect. That one. Let's say you connect with a bad pitch. Will the hit be worse than if you hit a good pitch? Most of the time, yeah. That's where you get like flyouts and groundouts. Really? Yeah, because they're not at the center of your like force. So if you have to like stretch and do a wacky uh, hit, 
it's gonna be yeah worse. you just get you get farther away from your hips and like your center of power okay like that well also that was just a late swing that's why i fouled that one and it also yeah the timing is also huge obviously yeah that's the thing about baseball though is it's kind of quirky you could hit one off the end of the bat kind of squirrely and it takes a, a an odd spin i thought you were work. gonna miss the base <laughs> Sometimes spin. it'll work, but most of the time it will not. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hold on, you know, we got a few more. Uh, Patrick, Patrick Hefner, thank you so much. And two anonymouses for $75 combined. We are at forty six fifty five. Keep them coming. Dad, I feel like uh, Vlad Guerrero would always uh, do the wacky hits. Yeah, he was notorious for being a wild swinger. How do you remember him? I just, you know, that's I just remember every time Vlad Guerrero had one of those at bats, he was known for that. You're just looking stuff up on the internet now. Aren't you? <laughs> the chat said it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Vlad's Vlad's boy, Vlad Jr. is now a star in the majors. Too bad he's a damn vampire. Oh, Vlad? Yes. He could be worse than being Impaler. Ah. Wasn't that a thing? Vlad the Impaler, yes. All right. Oh! Um. <laughs> oh, fuck! Did you guys see that crap? There's a kid J in it under a blanket in left field. <laughs> kid. Kid. He was like 24 when he did that. Oh, that's better. Well, actually, it is. I, I was thinking, I pictured, like, young man. Oh. You're Damn it. closer. It's closer to a crime when you're older, but it's somehow yes. less creepy. For the record, I was not actually <laughs> masturbating. Oh, okay. Sure I was like it. mimicking it to make him embarrassed in case the Jumbotron showed me under a blanket making whack-off motions. <laughs> God. Remember that one time we went to a game and one of the guys with us had a gun? Oh, God, what? yeah. I'm strapped everywhere I go. Strapped everywhere I go. It's like, don't bring that into Kaufman. He wasn't one of our friends. He was a friend of one of your friends. Remember? Yeah, he was Scarf Boy's friend from Wichita. Jesus Christ. Yeah, what are you I, doing with a gun? Yeah. <clears throat> Can I tell you a story that's kind of baseball related but doesn't have anything to do with baseball? Uh, I only like talking baseball. <laughs> this was one of, At all times. This was an amazing moment. Oh, shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. My controller. Okay. Uh... Still not working. I'll go to substitute. Okay, I'm good. All right. Dad, go ahead. Okay, so me and a friend went to a Royals game. We're waiting to get in line, and nowadays they, they have a wand thing that they scan you with for metal. Yeah. Oh! oh! Wow. Johnny, baby, you fuck. <laughs> great, great catch. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's my nice. best hit in a while, too. That was nice. I lied. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, go ahead. Oh, so anyway, we're way back in line waiting to get in the game, and we see the lady scanning, and my friend says, I wonder if her name is Wanda. I'm just being dumbasses. Oh, but you said it was oh, So we get our way to the front of the line, and we look, and her name tag, I swear to God, her name was Wanda. Oh, really? And we both about died, and the lady that was in front of us turned around and said, yeah, that just happened. Get some she donos in. Just, she'd overheard us. Seventh inning stretch. Oh, wow. get, sorry. Get those donos in. <laughs> I'd like some a donation. I'd like some donos for the seventh inning stretch. Well, we just had the seventh inning stretch, but... Mike says everything's stupid. No, kids with come your, on. Kids with your lingo. You don't know what J in it means? I got it. J in it? Through context. Oh, I could figure that one out. <laughs> Whack it off. Curveball yeah, coming I, to your top left, Dan, right here. America's game. Jacking off? Yeah. <laughs> they probably do that everywhere. <laughs> ha! Big game, Dave. Yes. See, that the, is what I the, don't understand. Like that part, he actually like you can see him slow down a bit. It's like it didn't know whether I was going to control or not, but I didn't touch it. I don't know. Yeah. That's when the ego confuses me. Don't you? I would. I don't. I would have thought. I would have thought your automatic guy would have caught that. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why he didn't. Like he slowed. You yeah. could see him slow down. <clears throat> Get in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I, just did, I just did a Dan there. Oh, man, look at this. Dad, your, see, your fatherly uh, uh, advice and, and presence is helping me win the baseball. <laughs> you have a funny way of putting your sentences together. 
<laughs> you taught me things. You're my father. <laughs> Dan's taking a two nothing lead. Boy, it's getting late in the game too. Oh, that's not what you want. Mm, mm. Now batting. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I scored again. Neither did I. Jeez. Eh. Oh, 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 he didn't tag him. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> Although I guess you, I, I, you were owed one of those after that non-tagged last game on the third base. Oh right. I could, I couldn't tell. Were you trying to tag him on third? Ooh, Fuck off. Just Wait, I don't get the. That, my point doesn't count. No, we did that last time because there was a double. You, there was no run technique. No oh, hit technically. I'm talking to the commissioner. 4705, Andrew Holm got us past 4700. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. All right, now last two innings. All right, let's do it. Look how Bear big down. the bat is. I never. <laughs> somehow I'm just noticing how big these baseball bats are. <laughs> Get out of here with that shit. Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> nice pitch. Dad, are they allowed to cuss in baseball? I think if they don't, as long as they don't direct it towards the umpire, they're fine. Oh, okay. Ooh. I, don't that, I don't know that for sure, but I'm guessing that's how that works. Right. Okay, liter look at <laughs> controller. Literally did not look at. Oh, uh, okay, okay. To be it's fair, not, it's not your fault. Okay. Well, are you, but hold on. Let me. Okay. It's are you not. Guys okay. Let Sorry. me turn this back yeah. on. What's that, Dad? No, I'll wait till he figures this out. It might be good time. Have you ever heard the legendary fuckface baseball card story? Oh yeah, you yeah, it's on his bat or something, right? Yeah, can you see me? Like if you're holding the bat up, yeah, uh, you could see the bottom. I don't know, I forget what they call it, but someone had written, someone had written fuckface on the bottom of this guy's bat. Yeah. So when he when he took his, right, picture his baseball card, they didn't catch that. That's so an a bunch oversight. of them went out with that. Yeah. Jeez. I would bet that nowadays uh, a big company like a, a Tops or an Upper Deck or whatever, uh, they probably have a much more stringent uh, I would think, yeah. copy editing. Yeah. I would think. There's one, if you remember Billy Martin, there's the one of him where he's like uh, discreetly flipping off the camera too. That made it through. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it's uh, like 50s or 60s. As someone who works for a very large company that puts out a lot of uh, content lately, I find out big companies nowadays have lots of people looking at things to make sure things don't slip through. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Man, I am playing baseball. There used to be some Norwegian cracker or something that um, nobody caught it, but when the packages were set next to each other, like on a grocery shelf, it spelled out shit. Huh. So they had to change the logo. Huh? Intentionally? No, no, no! It was it was accidental. Oh wow! So they had to re redesign their whole logo. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was some some European country. I think it was crackers. Wow! Damn it! Now to the chat is asking, how could they miss that? The fuckface text saying it's in bold. The baseball card? The fuckface one. Oh, it was very tiny. Oh really? You're saying it's yeah, like it in bold though, like very noticeable. Well, if you're looking for it, yeah. The second baseman, number three. If you remember Cal Ripken, it was Cal's little brother, Billy. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Dad, I've seen uh, Jeff Gersman's doing a lot of streaming during the quarantine. And on his Twitch stream, he has pictures of Raleigh fingers everywhere. Why? I don't know. <laughs> the, cra the crazy mustache? Yeah, yeah. Who? Raleigh Fingers played for the A's in like the late seventies, early eighties, right, Dad? Yeah, yeah, the Brewers and the Padres. I only he know him because he had a funny mustache. Giant, yeah, it was a big handlebar mustache, like he was tying ladies to train tracks. Yeah. That kind of mustache. <laughs> you know the A the A's owner actively paid the guys extra to grow facial hair and mustaches. Oh, you told me that because they wanted to like cultivate a look. Yeah, it was the early 70s. He wanted to attract the younger crowd. Oh, wow. You know, Wade Boggs is always known for his sideburns. Or is it Mattingly? Mattingly. I don't, I don't recall that for either one of them. It's a Simpsons thing. 
Oh. <laughs> there's one. There's a really good baseball Simpsons that all those guys actually do their, their voices. It's like Conseco and Boggs oh, really? and Mattingly, Griffey. Uh, yeah, tons of them. It's great. Right. You can close it out here. Here we go. Top of the ninth. Right, Dan. So I just hold him. I hold him to zero, and I win this this baseball game, right? You're, you're three outs. Three outs away from advancing. Oh man, three Don't outs. Screw it up. Wow, I'm excited. Yeah, you in. Mike, what happened to you? My God. A couple errors. I, I don't even know if they count as errors. They were like, well, one definitely did, but like another was just me not tagging someone when I should have. You got this, Dan? Yep. It's so choppy, I can't tell. I apologize. Yeah, sorry, I don't have a better way of getting you know. Like, I can do a smoother stream, but it'd be delayed by like six seconds, you know? No, that's okay. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. It's just hard to follow. Yeah. All right, Dan, put this away. That's the plan. Oh, that's out. We might be fell. Damn it. Oh, boy. There is no chance I would be able to get my dad to download Parsec. No, not at all. No. <laughs> I barely, like, I don't like it. <laughs> Sounds like a villain in Star Trek or something. <laughs> all right, this see, is it. Uh, Do you ever see Star Trek 2? No. It was actually pretty good. Surprised you have. I like, this. I like Star Trek. The series and the, and the first four movies. Huh. Here we go. Come on, Dan. One more strike. Throw a change up. Oh, ah! I went down looking. Oh my god. Yeah. Game six, here we go. Ah! Continues. And we're almost to 5,000, too. 48.99. 48.99? Right, Excellent. Mo Mopopolis, uh... thank you so much. Eugene C. Barrett, and holy shit, Ryan Michelak. With a hundo. Nice, thank you so much. A hundo dono. Oh. <laughs> Took almost 36 years, but I'm proud of you for something baseball related. I did it! I made my father proud. <laughs> we did it. As he drinks his invisible drink. <laughs> oh, I'm just seeing that for the first time. <laughs> I'd like to see what that looks like. Uh, so can I close the email out so I can see your face? How do I do that? You can close. Ah, there we go. I got it. You see us now? What? I Hold. do. Hold up. Uh, well, if you went to twitch.tv slash Dan Riker, you would see it. You wouldn't see it on our call. It probably looks, looks normal, normal to you. Yeah. You'd have, to go, you'd have to go to Twitch to see it. Yes. Oh, man. That was fun. Going game six. When are we doing it? Do we know yet? Have we decided? Um, I don't think there's a reason I couldn't do it tomorrow night. Uh, you know, Tuesday is my birthday, and I'm going to do a birthday Beautiful Joe stream. I'm going to start that game up. Um, but Monday tomorrow, I think we could. Uh, I think we could play some baseball tomorrow. Oh, sure. By the way, works for me. Dad, do me a favor. Uh, open mm -hmm. up a web browser and go to twitchtv Reichert. And uh, what? Why? Because everyone in the chat, please. Uh, I think you, the chat. You have something to show my father, right? I don't think he has seen the thing yet. Just do it, Dad. All right. Walk me through this without yelling at me. Okay. Do you use Firefox or Chrome? What do you use for web browser? I've, it's got a fox thing wrapped around a planet. It's that a Firefox. sounds like Firefox, yes. Click Firefox. Okay. Well, can I just go to my normal thing? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> i got, like, six different tabs open in Firefox. Then open a, open a seventh, then. Well, how about I just go to a different thing than a thing? So what does what that do mean? I do? Just open another tab. I don't need to. I'll just... Going to a new thing with a thing. What do I do? What are you saying? I hope you all realize. Imagine trying to set up concurrent Google Meet so he can see the stream and a Discord call so he can be on the thing. Imagine setting that all up, especially when he says he's not ready until five minutes before I said I was going to go live. It's a delight. All right. Look, let me let me explain this. I got like seven tabs open. So say Wikipedia is on one. It, 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 can I just go in there and go to Twitch via that? Sure. If that's yeah. better for you, do that. <sighs> Twitch what? Twitch.tv slash Dan Riker. Slash? Mm. Twitch.tv slash Dan Riker, yeah. In the meantime, let's cross 4,900. We need just someone send a dollar in so we're at a nice <laughs> even 4,900. Okay, I'm in the Twitch thing. What's happening? Uh, do you see what the chat? Doing? 
Uh, it says stream chat to the right. Yeah, keep an eye on the stream chat. And folks, you know what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> that picture will live in infamy forever. Your biggest mistake was telling me that you hated that picture. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, who? Oh? <laughs> You're also like 12 years younger, so there's that. No, I was, what, 17 years younger. Oh, jeez, yeah. How old were you there? Were you, like, my age? 40. 40. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wasn't, wasn't there a yoga book in the background of that picture, too? I was in a different picture from that same night, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. an issue, yeah. <laughs> All right, Michael. Oh, my God, I'm on the crown vision thing. Oh, you can see that. Okay, yeah, yeah. My prediction was correct. I said you still needed, like, a, a normal win that wasn't a blowout, and you got it. That was just a good game of baseball, wasn't it? It was. How do, That's what I'm saying. I, I said we still – we got the blowout on both sides. We got a solid win by me. Yeah. How does everyone then, have access to this picture? Because they're subscribers to my Twitch channel. And oh, I shit. Make, Holy make shit. Own. Okay. We're at 49.65. We're actually $35 away from the 5,000 goal. If we could reach it before we end the stream, then every game from here on out, or at least game six, maybe game seven, will just be bonus. Yeah. Um, let me read these people off. Uh, Joey Hayward, thank you so much. Jordan L. Negrin, thank you. Dr. Ryan Reed, an anonymous. And Alistair, Alistair, Alistair E. Pinsoff, holy shit, with $150. Thank you so much. Again, going to the Pimento Relief Fund and the Black Mental Health Alliance. We need 35,000. Sorry, not 35,000. We need $35 more to reach our 5,000 goal. Dad, uh, now that you can see the, the screen, you can hold up your Mountain Dew and see the crazy stuff it's doing. Well, we can just hang oh, out okay. and chat and see if we can cross our goal. There's, All a, right. there's a lag, though. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And tilt it up like you're drinking it. It's more pronounced when you do that. Yeah, if anybody has $35,000 to donate, I'm, we we're not going to stop you, but. Oh, yeah. There's a serious lag here, like 10, 15 seconds. And that's why it was either this or choppy. And I figured choppy was better since it was more live, you know? Okay, here we go, I think. So that's the Royals Stadium? Yeah. That's Coffin Coffin. Stadium. God, the, Holy the, shit, the, the, Mike, Mike. I just checked. What? We're at 5225. Oh, shit. Wow, mine's going slow. Wait, read them off. Uh, Alistair E. Pinsoff was the last one I read. Mine's okay, taking a uh, while to refresh. Hassan, Patrick, Anonymous, and uh, Negative Strike. Holy shit, oh, wow. we are at 5225. We have hit All our right. goal. Every single cent of that will be going to those two charities at the conclusion of this series, as well as anything else that we raise in game six or seven. Yep. Uh, yeah. This was five, right? Correct. Thank All you right. so much, everybody. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm so keep, glad. Keep them coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're... I was pretty confident coming in today that I would seal the deal, but uh, obviously we're we still got a couple more, uh, one more game to play, only one. So this is nice. Oh, only that one. That we uh, <laughs> there can be only one more game in this series. Yes. Uh, Dad, not to put you on the spot here, but what are the odds uh, tomorrow night you'd be free if we play then? Mm, Mondays are iffy for me. You can ask me <laughs> ask me around noon, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll have a better idea. Okay. And I'll tell you, too, that like now that we've set it up once and we know it kind of works, it'll be easier next time. So, so you only get yell at me for five minutes instead of ten? Well, it depends on how late you are this time. Yeah, and I apologize for that. That was my That's all right. That's all right. Uh, Dad, anything else before we go? How's things? Uh, good. Yeah, I thought of you this morning. I was actually doing a ride show this morning, and I picked up a young guy, and he, he asked me, if I could set up my Bluetooth in my car so he could do something on his phone. And I was like, I didn't know I could do that on my phone, on my, on my, in my car. I said, well, how do you do it? And he had to walk me through everything. What did he do? What did he want to do? I don't know if he wanted to uh, talk. I don't know. I was completely, boy, there's such a lag. This is very confusing. Well, Dad, that's a, that's a common scam uh, in ride shares. Is he probably hacked your car. A cable bill going to go up? Cause yeah, of yeah, your cable bill. Keep an eye on that. Uh, it's really virusy, the Bluetooth. How do you hack a car? <laughs> it seems like something my dad would believe. <laughs> wait, wait but, like he's, but, he's but in I the engine? Yeah. <laughs> dad, do you remember the uh, the uh, the stocks thing with Grandpa in the computer? Oh, my God. Your, yeah. your response was great. I forgot what my response was. Tell me if I'm remembering this right. Um, my Grandpa 
who is uh, my father's father, which is how that works, uh, he wanted to sell his old computer. This is what, the early 2000s, maybe? No, he wanted to give it to the neighbor kid. Right, right. He wanted to give his, his computer to the neighbor kid in like probably the early 2000s or so. And uh, they asked me, like, hey, we need to make sure we want to give it to the neighbor kid, but we, we need to take the stocks out of the computer. And I was like, <laughs> like what? And like, well, yeah, he keeps the stocks in the computer, and so we need to make sure we take them out before we give it to the neighbor kid. And I was like, oh, wait, where does he do his stocks? Like, what, what website does he do it through? Is it like E-Trade? What's his login? As long as it doesn't automatically log in, we can reset everything. And she's like, no, 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 they're in the computer. <laughs> it's like, well, you don't, remember, you, don't, you don't remember what you said? No. You're like, you're like, Grandpa, when you used to watch Johnny Carson, he wasn't inside your TV. It's <laughs> a good way to explain it to an elderly yeah, person. I guess so. But I just remember Grandma saying to me, like, very matter-of-factly, like, uh, no, Danny, they're in the computer. It's like, okay, <laughs> yeah, we're going to take a crowbar and open it up and get all the stocks. Listen, Danny, I know you're young and, and naive and still <laughs> learning things, but trust me, the stocks are in that, yeah. that box of electrical circuits. We've seen them. I still enjoy how they always had their VCR in a totally different room than their TV. It's the only time in my 36 years I've ever seen anyone do that. Mike, at, uh, at my grandparents' house, they had the living room where you'd watch the TV. Uh, and then if you wanted to, we, we rented movies all the time. You had to go to like this library room that was like down a hall. It was like a completely different thing. It was like three rooms away. And the VCR for the living room TV was there. You had to move a stone head statue off a pedestal thing at the right time. You had to tilt the statue's head and the thing would rotate. And right, the VCR replace. for a TV was in a separate room? Like, far yeah. away room, yes. So you had like, to replace it, it with a bag of sand. <laughs> <laughs> or a boulder would just come out and chase you. Yeah, right. so if you wanted to pee, you had to, like, run to another room, hit pause, and then run across to the bathroom. And, oh, like, my God. There were no visible cables, so, like, thought and planning went into this. They had to, like, put it through the walls and ceilings. It wasn't just, like, cables were everywhere. I mean, the only thing, I mean, it's not logical in no matter what, but the only thing I can think is maybe they thought the VCR was ugly and didn't want it in, like, the centerpiece room of the house. Dad, does that track with Grandma and Grandpa? Dad? Uh, did we lose Dad? No, he's here. Do you hear him? I see him moving, though. Oh, well, he froze here. Oh, wait, are you back, Dad? Dad? Yeah, I lost audio for a couple of seconds. Okay, you're back now. He, yep. Mike brought up it being a, an aesthetic thing. Would that track with Grandma and Grandpa? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it makes my even less sense. My grandpa, who literally any day of the week was always inexplicably covered in paint, <laughs> despite, despite not being a painter at any point in his life. <laughs> It's true. It's true. What is with this family tree? Well, he did paint don't... the squirrels, but that couldn't have been every day. <laughs> I don't like know what goes on with this DNA pool of yours. It's mm. a fun one. <laughs> Just... Remember, Dan, you and I were talking that you and I both share a lot of characteristics with my father, except he was a much better person. <laughs> it's really true. <laughs> I don't think we're bad people. No, but he was just at his core much better better person he was very just noble and respected and you know just uh yeah he was great that's okay yeah, yeah. this makes even less sense <laughs> oh dad uh chat seems don't... chat seems confused about the painted squirrels you want to give the the quick rundown for those that don't know it uh basically my parents uh towards the end of their lives lived near a park and my dad they both did a little bit of gardening and stuff and so the squirrels were kind of an, a constant nuisance to them so my dad, being the humane guy that he was, he would set up these squirrel traps and then take them to the park to get them away from his property. But he came up with this idea. He wanted to know if they were making their way back because it was only like a half mile away. So he would capture them, spray paint the squirrels <laughs> different colors, and then release them. So that way, if they came back, he would know if it's the same squirrels coming back. And do what with that information? Yeah. I don't know, but I always pictured these... Poor squirrels being ostracized in their community because they were, you know, purple or whatever. Yeah. It, <laughs> They've been marked. He, re, he yeah, released well, one in the parking lot at like a Home Depot and it ran inside the store or something. Yeah, so a painted squirrel ran inside a Home Depot. <laughs> this is Kansas? Yes. Yeah. This is near Shiny Mission Park is where we would let them, let them free. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm imagining a scenario in which a squirrel with paint on it comes back to his yard. What? 
does he shoot it? Or is it just, is it, is he just like gathering ever... data for fun? Mike, he just had a lot of spare time on his hands. <laughs> <Let's put it laughs> okay. Yes. It's just a uh... very weird household it sounds like yeah we all had our different uh, shades of weird i think dad i would say all three of us me you and him are all pretty weird but in pretty different ways mostly very very different ways yeah i mean i'm not normal <laughs> but i don't know that i i'm i don't know that i have anything equivalent to painting squirrels <laughs> I, mine, mine mine leans more towards neurosis to be honest i think yeah don't and you just, think? Yeah. And, and your desire to just never like be around people I don't mind that. I mean, you know me. I can adapt when I have to be around people, but I prefer not to be. You definitely don't look look for it. Oh, I don't go out of my way for it, no. no, no but no. I'm not uncomfortable around people. Yeah, yeah. no, you're incredible at bars and socially and stuff like that. Unless you got my Hardy over here at a wedding uh, doing a soul taker routine. Oh, I've got that locked and loaded oh. for Tim and Janice's. Excellent. Excellent. Are you going to that, Paul? Actually, I don't know. What? <laughs> to Tim Turry's wedding, by any chance? No, I thought they yeah, had delay. They got delayed. Corona. COVID, yeah, it was supposed to be in May. When are they actually doing it? I mean, everything's up in the air with COVID stuff. I do have a plus one that I'm not using anymore. When they invited me, I ha I was dating someone. Now I'm not. If you want to come as like a, a friend. If you brought oh. my dad, it's your plus one. I I genuinely would do that. I don't have anybody to bring to this. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> dad, you would fucking... <laughs> I'm not kidding. I would do that. If you feel like flying to Minneapolis, we can all meet up there and I'll be like, hey, I have a plus one. He'll, he'll, he wants fish. Oh. Then you, don't, you promised us not be in character while I'm with you? you For the, the first case, few hours, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> I can't make any yeah. promises late reception timing. Yeah, I'd be up for that. Well, Dad, you like Minneapolis. Then I'll bring Sticky. Oh, you don't have him anymore. You got rid of him. Actually, I threw him away this morning. I swear to God. Uh, I found him again. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, should we oh, wrap man. it up here? Yeah. You're not right. going to explain what Sticky is? That's nah, all right. Wait, well, what okay. is Sticky? It's a, it's a really exciting story, so hold on to your butts here. Um, uh, last time we were in Minneapolis was uh, for John Carson's wedding, and uh, me and my dad and the Claps went out to a Chinese restaurant, and my dad opened the chopsticks uh, kind of halfway, so there was some, like, ripped paper on either side, and it kind of looked like arms, and the chopsticks were the legs. And my dad did a little routine where he was like, hi, I'm Sticky, and he made it hop around the table and do a little show. And then... There may have been, there may have been liquor involved, I'm not sure. <laughs> yes. And then I kept it and, like, brought it back to him for Christmas, like, eight months later. When you say collapsed, do you mean, like, Dave and Katie or, like, yeah, their yeah. family? Yeah, oh, okay. Dave and Katie, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yes. That was that was a weird story. Yeah, it's, it's a barn it burner. That was a year ago this week. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we crossed our goal, mm -hmm. and we still have more baseball to come. Thankfully, mm -hmm. uh, sure. I hope to. Uh, I, I think I played well today. I'm feeling good about uh, being competitive. Uh, seeing the old three to one uh, on the scoreboard made today kind of daunting, but I'm feeling uh, reinvigorated right now. So yeah. uh, I'm very very. Four to excited. two is not as embarrassing as four to one. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it, it could be four to three U. So uh, let, let's yeah. just see. Uh, but we're at fifty-two fifty, and uh, let's uh, well tentatively uh, plan on maybe tomorrow night doing a game, mm -hmm. probably like eight thirty or nine. Uh, Dad, that'd be seven thirty or eight your time if you're able to. Uh, I know it's a busy eBay day for you, so uh, but we'll be in touch. And uh, for the folks out there, keep an eye on me and Mike's Twitter. Uh, it'll be on Mike's channel. Remember, it's yep. a way game for me, so it's going to be on Twitch.tv/slash MMA Hardy. Uh, so it's going to be on his channel. Don't forget that. Some people seem confused before, so I can't drill that home enough. It'll be on Mike's channel. Ooh, which I realize, Mike, if my dad is able to. If, if we, I, I'll take the away game again if we want in favor of bringing your dad on, because I don't know that. It's a, it's a to-do. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll at least do your stadium if that's the case. Okay. Okay. That's fine by me. All right, well, uh, keep an eye on our Twitters. We will be back uh, tomorrow night, most likely. Uh, Dad, thank you so much. Uh, I know, sorry if I'm impatient with the tech setup. Uh, it's it's a fun dance it. we do every time we do something like this. <laughs> I've been dealing with this for a couple decades now, so it's all right. Yes. All right, well, but seriously, thanks so much uh, for being here and, and help. Thanks uh, for having me. Your, your presence inspired me uh, to rally to victory, so thank you so much. Uh, we will be Good. back tomorrow. Dad, thank you. All right. I'm proud of you. Good job. Ah, yeah. See you I soon. Did it. See you soon, Mike. Right. See you, Paul. Bye, everyone.